welcome back to my YouTube channel, the best place for eczema warriors to get rid of the flares and get rid of the itch. If you guys haven't heard already, last week we did amazing live trainings on my Instagram all about how to integrate eczema healing into your lifestyle with ease. Now that being said, if you miss the live trainings, don't worry because all the replays have been sent to those who have already registered. So if you did watch the replay and you did attend a live training, I wanna say thank you for watching. If you haven't and you miss the live trainings, don't worry, I'm gonna be hosting similar trainings in the near future. So you're here today in my YouTube video because you probably want to learn how to have a better night's sleep with eczema. With having eczema, as a lot of you guys can relate, one of the most stressful and concerning and frustrating things is to have a good night's sleep. When you have eczema, you're either really itchy, you either have insomnia, or you just feel really uncomfortable in your skin, which leads to having poor quality of sleep because those are the things that you're struggling with every single night. Now I have some really, really good tips I wanna offer you guys to help you sleep better when you have eczema. So make sure you watch until the very end because every single tip I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, I'm gonna be giving you lots of content, lots of insight, some supplement tips even inside each of these tips. So make sure you watch the video until the very end. Now, as always, before we get into the tips, I want to give you guys some updates. So besides the fact that we did our live trainings last week, I also wanted to let you know that we have announced my new course called From Flaring to Thriving. I'm so excited. We are going to kick off this course on May 16th and it is a 30 day course with me as your coach the entire time throughout the entire course. Now, if you're someone who wanted to join CYE, which is the full coaching, high value, a lot of support, um, one of my high ticket programs and you weren't able to join, this course might be the perfect fit for you. This course is a 30 day course with me where each week we have a different topic. So the very first week is about root causes and this is where I help you identify your root cause combo that you may have. We're gonna use root cause worksheets, there's gonna be a full video lesson with me on how to look for root causes. And then week two, we're gonna dive into diet and supplements. So based on your root cause combo, we're gonna dive into your diet, focusing on what to eat, what are some skin healing foods to include into your diet, as well as supplements that are helpful for your healing. Now, week three is all about lifestyle. So how can we incorporate eczema healing into your lifestyle so you can go out to enjoy the foods that you, that you love, that you can go have a glass of wine when you want to, that you can manage your day-to-day -day flare ups so they aren't stressful. And then of course, week four is one of my favorite weeks. This one is about mindset. So how can we use mindset to start healing your skin? How can we start shifting your disempowering thoughts into empowering thoughts? So each of these weeks, we have a different topic and this is designed to help you go from where you are right now, which is possibly flaring and itching, to 30 days later, hopefully seeing more skin healing changes, seeing better improvements in your digestion, better improvements in your root causes, and better improvements overall. So if you're ready to start thriving instead of flaring, then make sure you sign up before May 15th. That's gonna be the deadline, one day before we start our first week. And you can sign up at the link in the description box below. And it's only at 2.97, you guys, for the entire 30 days. This is a no-brainer course. It is at such a good price to help you achieve those results. And I cannot wait as your coach to see you inside. Oh, I also forgot to mention, as a part of the course, you also get bonus materials. There's gonna be root cause worksheets to help you identify your root causes. There's gonna be meal plans. There's gonna be grocery lists. There's gonna be journaling exercises the whole ordeal, you guys. I am literally taking a portion of my CYE full program and putting it into a smaller course so that it is accessible for you guys at a really good price. I could go on and on about how excited I am with this course, but if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about what's inside, what to expect, then you can go to the course link and learn all about that. There's a whole detailed page about what's included as well as the price and how to sign up, so make sure you guys check it out. Now, without further ado, Let's get into today's topic on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema. Tip number one on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema is to have an intentional nighttime routine. Now I know this might be an obvious one, like to turn off your phone and 
really wind down before you go to bed, but I really want to give some specific examples to help you with your nighttime routine. When you are having a nighttime routine, it's really about things that you're doing that you actually enjoy doing, right? And I think that's a big one because a lot of times people will meditate and they'll journal, but they actually really don't like doing those things for their nighttime routine. So you really want to choose things that actually feel good to you. So meditating could be something for you, but it might not be. If it's not, it could be something as simple as drinking a tea, right? When you drink tea that's calming for you, it can really help you prepare yourself for a better night's sleep because you are at a more relaxed state. Some other things you can do for your nighttime routine is to light a candle before bed, have some really good aromas in your in your room that's very calming. I really love lavender and chamomile. As long as you aren't sensitive and reacting to those kind of scents, then that could be a good way to really set the mood and set the environment for a really good night's sleep. You can also read a book. I like to read books before I go to bed. I find that when I do that, I get a lot sleepier. Sometimes I even fall asleep when I'm reading a book. Um, and that's a great thing because then I can have a better night's sleep knowing that my body is tired. I have other clients who like to take baths at night and I highly recommend baths as long as your skin can tolerate it. Um, one thing you can do in your bath is to light a candle, read a book like I mentioned, but you can also add dead sea salts into your bath. Dead sea salts contain minerals which are really healing for the skin, but is also really calming for the body as well. For example, magnesium is really high in dead sea salts. You can also use Epsom salts, either or. I tend to find dead sea salts to be a lot more healing. Um, it is a little bit more expensive because it comes from the dead sea, but I've noticed it helped a lot with flaring, with itching, and it helps a lot with your nighttime routine where it relaxes you as well. Now for your nighttime routine, you don't have to do all of these things because I know it can take hours and hours and time sometimes. You can literally just do one or two things. Like some days when I'm really busy and I don't have time to do a whole nighttime routine, I'll just drink tea and I'll do journaling and that's it and I feel good, right? Remember you don't have to do all the things to help you with your sleep. Sometimes those one little things you can change such as turning off your phone, reducing your screen time at night and being able to journal a little bit or read a little bit, even just slight changes can make a really big difference. So it's all about setting that intention to do that rather than thinking you have to do them all. And the second tip that I have for how to have a better sleep with eczema is to practice relaxation techniques. So my favorite one is deep breathing. I find that it really calms down my stress and my anxiety, especially if I had a really rough day and I've been overthinking a lot. I always want to add in some deep breathing practices. So this is something that you don't always have to do only at nighttime. You can really do it anytime throughout the day. But if you're someone who is struggling a lot with sleep, you can definitely implement it before bed. So typically I say for deep breathing exercises, you want to deep breathe in really deeply and breathe out like you're breathing out through a straw. So it's like and you can do this as many times as you want. Typically I say at least six deep breaths and this is going to help a lot with calming the hormones, reducing cortisol in your body, which tends to rise up when you're stressed and really setting that mood so that your body is relaxed and your muscles aren't tense and you are feeling good before you go to bed. Versus if you were to just jump straight into bed after having a really rough day, you probably are going to have trouble sleeping or more itching because your body is in still fight or flight mode. If deep breathing isn't something for you, you can do meditation. And I know sometimes meditation can scare people away because they think that it has to be this whole like 30 minute meditation, you have to sit still, you have to do this and do that. But it can be really simple, you guys. If you haven't done meditation before and you're completely new to it, you can start off with just a five minute meditation, which is super easy. And you can do a guided meditation as well. One of my favorite apps is Calm. I use their subscription and they have really good guided meditations. There's ones that are short, like one minute, two minutes, and there's ones that are longer. There's also ones specifically for sleep. So you can definitely choose that as your meditation practice and use that to help you with um, your meditation at nighttime. The other thing you can do is yoga. Now, I don't typically do yoga myself. My routine, like I said, is usually journal and 
drinking a tea, but you can do some really relaxing yoga techniques on your yoga mat before bed. That helps a lot as well. I have client, clients who do this regularly before bed just to stretch out their muscles, really just calm themselves down, and it really helps them have a good night's sleep. So that's something you can practice as well as a part of your relaxation routine. The next tip that I have for you on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema is to avoid large meals. Now you might be wondering, okay, how does having a large meal have anything to do with sleep? You're gonna be surprised because when you have really large meals, so let's say for dinner time you ate a little bit too much, you're feeling really stuffed and you're not feeling so good, you're gonna have a harder time to digest that meal during the night because during the night is when your body digests as well because during the night is when the digestion process happens from everything that you've eaten in the day. During the night is also the time when your body naturally detoxifies. So when you have a really large meal and you don't feel good, you are going to wake up more often during the night because your digestion just is too much going on there. You're gonna end up having a not so good night of sleep. Also, if you eat very large meals at night, sometimes that can actually increase itching as well because your body might have trouble detoxifying, especially if your liver is already overburdened. Then if you add on more meals, heavy meals, greasy meals, then you might notice some increased itching at night. So definitely eat a smaller meal at night if you can. But that being said, you don't want to eat too little because you also want to eat enough so that your blood sugar levels aren't all over the place at night. Because when your blood sugars are also all over the place at night, you're gonna be waking up often as well. You're gonna be waking up hungry if you didn't eat enough at night. So making sure your plate is balanced at nighttime, but not overdoing it is going to be important. The next tip that I have for you on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema is to try magnesium. What is magnesium? Magnesium is a mineral that your body needs to function. It is often known as a relaxation mineral because it is often used for stress and for relaxation. And so I love magnesium because I found it to help a lot with my sleep, helps a lot with my clients who struggle with having good quality sleep. Now. In research, there's about 70, I think 70 to 80% of people are actually deficient in magnesium because we sometimes just don't get enough magnesium in our food. So definitely supplementing can help. That being said, there are different forms of magnesium. There's magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, magnesium gly glycinate. There are different forms when you are choosing a supplement for magnesium and choosing the right one really depends on your needs. For example, I would suggest magnesium citrate for people who are prone to constipation because the citrate version helps your bowels versus if you're someone who isn't prone to constipation and you have regular bowels, then you may not want to use magnesium citrate and instead go for magnesium glycinate. One of my personal favorite brands of magnesium is by Natural Calm. And by the way, you guys, I'm not endorsed for recommending their product. I just personally really like their magnesium line. It helps a lot. So that's something you guys can consider. Natural Calm is a really great magnesium. Now you can really choose any kind of magnesium as long as you obviously check with your practitioner to make sure that it suits your needs. But if you aren't seeing anybody to help you with your supplement recommendations, always follow the bottle recommendations. Magnesium can be taken in a powder form, capsule form, or a liquid form, and that comes down to whatever works for you. I personally think that liquid version and powder version is the best because it is easily more absorbed versus taking capsules. Sometimes people don't notice the same benefit or they have pill burden from taking other supplements in their regimen. The next tip that I have for you on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema is to try tart cherry juice. Tart cherry juice is basically juice extracted from tart cherries, which is different than regular cherries. So regular cherries is something that you can get from the grocery store and have as a snack, versus tart cherry juice is often in a supplement, it's usually dried, and it is usually taken for specific reasons. So for sleeping better at nighttime, I find that tart cherry juice is extremely, extremely helpful, especially with my clients who really struggle with sleep and they don't really see a big difference in magnesium, 
when they implement tart cherry juice, it seems to help them more. So the reason why tart cherry juice can be really helpful for sleep is because it naturally contains melatonin. And melatonin is a hormone that your body naturally produces to help with the sleep-wake cycle. Research has shown that when your melatonin levels are low, this can really disrupt your sleep cycle. So by adding foods and supplements like tart cherry juice, they can definitely help raise your melatonin levels and that leads to better sleep for some people. So if you have eczema and you've tried your routine and you tried magnesium and you're not noticing a difference, perhaps trying tart cherry juice can be beneficial for you. So tart cherry juice may be a little harder to find because they're so specific for the tart cherries, but typically you can find them at a health food store or you can order them online. Now, when you take tart cherry juice, it depends on the amount that you wanna take. So when you're taking tart cherry juice, you can always start small. I recommend it just an ounce and it makes a huge difference, but you can go up to a cup. Um, be careful though, because some tart cherry juice have added sugar, so you definitely wanna choose one that doesn't have it and it can still be really sweet so you can always start off smaller and increase it depending on how you feel the next tip that I have for how to have a better sleep with eczema is to don't take your multivitamins or B vitamins at nighttime in a recent video right here I talk about the five supplement mistakes when it comes to healing eczema and one of them is taking supplements at the wrong time now the reason why we don't want to take multivitamins or B vitamins at nighttime because those vitamins can give you energy and for people who are sensitive to supplements, when they take multivitamins and B vitamins at night, they can notice an increased energy at nighttime. And so when you have that, then you're gonna end up having trouble sleeping because of increased energy levels. So right now, if you are taking your multivitamin later in the afternoon, I would highly suggest changing it into the morning um, with your meal, of course, and that's gonna help a lot with not making you have so much energy at nighttime, especially if you're someone who is feeling that right now. Moving on to the next tip on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema is something to take if you are really itching at nighttime. So oftentimes what I recommend for my clients is to take something called quercetin. Quercetin is a plant pigment found in most plants. It is a flavonoid and it's been shown to help with allergies and itching because it acts as an antihistamine. Now most people will take this in the daytime when they're itchy, but it can actually be more helpful if you're noticing your itch attacks come at nighttime is to take quercetin before bed. That way the effects of it will continue overnight versus if you were to take it in the daytime, it may wear off before you go to bed. So quercetin is something to consider as a part of your supplement regimen to help with itching. And then you can also add in nettle leaf as well. Nettle leaf is an herb that helps with itching as well because it acts as a natural antihistamine. You can either take this in a supplement version, a tea version, or in a powder version. It's really up to you how you want to include it. I typically like to drink nettle tea before bed because A, it can help me with my nighttime routine by drinking tea, and B, it acts as a natural antihistamine so it can help with itching as well. And by the way, if you need more help on supplements and knowing exactly what to take for certain things, for example, itching, inflammation, dry skin, I talk all about this in my new course, From Flaring to Thriving. And so if you haven't signed up yet, I'm reminding you right now to sign up before we close enrollment on May 15th. You can do so at the link in the description box below. Moving on to the next tip on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema is to wear proper clothing. Now clothing is really important with eczema because you can either wear too much clothes causing you to overheat and then overheating causing you to itch more or you can wear too little clothes that you end up tearing your skin apart. So I think it depends on what your body type is. If you're someone who is prone to heat, then you might wanna be careful with wearing clothes that are too suffocating, and you wanna wear clothes that contain cotton or are made up of cotton because it is more breathable. Now, if you're someone who tends to scratch yourself and you have to cover yourself so you don't literally clot your skin, or if you do, you at least have a barrier there, then I typically recommend long sleeves and wearing a bandage over your wrists. That way you are protecting your skin and you're not directly clawing on it with your nails, right? So if you're someone who is struggling with nighttime sleeping because you are overheating or you are scratching a lot, those are my two tips for managing that. 
um, wearing long sleeves so you're covering yourself and bandages if that helps you. If you're someone who overheats at night, then maybe wearing less or consider having ice packs next, next to your bed. I definitely have clients that do that. They just have ice packs in a bowl ready at nighttime in case that they get really hot and in case that they get really itchy. So that concludes our video today on how to have a better night's sleep with eczema. I hope those tips helped you a lot because I gave a lot of tips on diet, tips on supplements, tips on clothing, tips on routine, and I hope that you implement some of these things to help you with your skin. Now, if you did start implementing already and you're noticing differences, you can always come back to this video and let me know. You can leave a comment below. I would love to hear what worked for you or what didn't work for you because I'm sure other people would want to be curious about what they can do to implement for their own healing. If you're looking for more support from me through live coaching, then make sure you join my course. I'm very excited to get started very soon and I would love to see you inside. Lastly, before I let you guys go, make sure you check out my two videos right here because I share more eczema tips, more TSW tips to help you with your journey. Thanks everyone for watching today's video. We will see you guys next Monday for another video and we'll also see you guys inside my course from flaring to thriving. Bye guys.